welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. Okay, so a couple quick announcements before we get started with the show. Um, this show does air on TV. It um, airs um, on Roku and WSCS and a number of other streaming channels. Uh, that uh, Rude Rangers TV sends it out to and WSCS sends it out to. Also, almost every uh, podcast out there. So when you're asking your questions, please be mindful of that. Uh, second, I d will never reach out to anybody to ask on any social media platform to ask them, would they like a media, uh, read reading or they need a reading. I, I don't do that. Um, so please don't get scammed by someone pretending to be me. The only way to get a reading from me and the only way I do readings is if you um, contact me personally. I do not do email readings. I do not do text readings. I do readings in person or over the phone only where you can ask the questions you want to ask or connect with the loved ones you want to connect with and get the answers that you need and want for your life. Um, if somebody's trying to email you a reading and it's not awful of misspelled words, <laughs> It's not me, sis. I'm joking. No, I would never email a reading. I would never, ever email a reading to begin with. Never, ever. Um, or text one. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get started in a second. I just need to say hello to Stevie. Hey, Stevie, I hope you're having a good day. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Genevieve. Hi, Terry. Um so a couple more confirmations. On Monday's show, I was able to give some confirmations, and I'm going to give a couple more. Sometimes when I give predictions, they're for things that are happening a year or two years out, and everybody has forgotten about my predictions. What? How? <laughs> so I am going to remind them of my predictions and what that looks like in today's world. So one of the um, things that I had said on a show a while back was that um, the big C, depending on how you're looking, the big C, the big virus, um, was a biochemical weapon that was probably created, honestly, in one of our labs on somebody else's land. And guess what? Uh, yes, Dr. Fleming just testified that it is indeed not a virus, but a biochemical weapon that was created. Hmm. Who could have known that? Me. So if it is indeed a biochemical weapon, there is no shot because the shot is for a virus. Hmm. Who could have known that? And again. Okay, the second one. I said there were going to be a lot of lawsuits regarding the mandating of said and there are. Everybody said, no, so-and-so signed something, giving everybody like they're not responsible. No, <laughs> first of all, and please fact check this before you come at me. First of all, if somebody is not the real Joe Biden <laughs> and he's signing papers, those papers are null and void. They don't count. I want DNA proof that that is JB. <laughs> Somebody get some DNA from that man to prove who he is because he is not JB. <laughs> 
Second, so anything he has signed is null and void. I believe that's how it works. Somebody impersonating somebody, let's say for, for fun, for, for example, the president signing papers as the president, not only is that like um, kind of illegal and will get you a one-way ticket to get Mo. Oh, did I just say that? Oh, yep, I did. Um, but anything they have signed, you know, all those papers, first day, first week, up until today, I, I think that makes them null and void and not legal, which means anything that was signed concerning the, you know, little shot is null and void and not legal. And again, I want DNA proof that that man is the man he's claiming to be. I, I, I'm just saying. Okay, so, um, but there are lawsuits that are being uh, brought and won. For example, uh, there was a $10 million lawsuit that was, it was settled. It didn't go into court, but um, for people who were told they had to get the shot or they would lose their jobs. And they were saying, I have a medical and or religious exemption. And these people have now been vindicated. Not as much as we would like to see them be vindicated. And it, it obviously there's still this little charade and game going on. Um, but yes, oh, one little last thing. Um, and you, again, do your own research. Don't tell me I'm wrong unless you have actually gone to the site and looked at everything that was released and then you can come at me. Um, one of the side effects of the shot, shingles and monkey pox. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. I'm laughing with you. Go look it up. Go look at. Is this why they didn't want all of these papers released? All of their the, everything they released, all the hundreds of pages that the court ordered them to release. Is this why they didn't want it released? <gasps> Mm, are we ruining their game? Let's keep doing that, folks. Let's keep doing that because we deserve better. We deserve better. All righty. Hey, Yvonne. Um, how are you? Okay. Hey, Heather. I love all my, my peeps that join me every week. I absolutely love it. Um, oh, yeah. There's one more prediction. Should I say it? It's a pretty big prediction. If you guys want me to say it, let me know. Um, it's pretty. Ugh. <laughs> Heather, right away. Everybody, everybody on YouTube is like, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, here's what's coming in, just so you know. I am not saying that people should do this. This is a prediction. It's already set in place. It's already coming. This has nothing to do with what I am saying right now. We are about to see a lot of public unalivings. Very, very public unalivings. So, you know, in the military and on SWAT teams, how they have snipers, we're about to see a lot of public and I can't use certain words because we're all adults here and certain words can't be used um, on alivings. And these unalivings are going to be for some pretty well-known people. And they are going to be um, public. And this is why. And this is why. Will the real Joe Biden please stand up? So no clone, no artificial, no duplicate, no lookalike can take their place. Yep. Yeah, baby. Not that I want anybody to be un or no longer in their physical bodies. However, the people who are, uh, there will be no way that they can put a replacement player in for them. 
How about that, folks? What do you think of that? Everybody in my comments, please um, let me know how how to, how does that feel to you? And I think anybody who knows my show knows what I'm talking about right now. One million percent. Um, some of these have already started, but we are going to see a lot more that are relevant to our area and Canada's area. Who's going to be doing this? I've, I've told this to a couple of people in private readings. When you get a private reading from me, um, you can ask me any questions about what's going on in the world or your personal life. And uh, the information that comes through is astounding. Um, yeah, right, Yvonne? Nobody's going to be surprised when this happens. When people find out what's been done to them and their loved ones, Mm-mm, baby, baby, baby. Okay. Um, we're about to see a lot of that coming in. And uh, don't be surprised and don't be shocked. But the reason they're doing it publicly, these are going to be extremely public, even though the press will try to hide it. There's going to be no way this can be hidden. The reason they're doing it that way is so that no replacement player can come in and take their place. Nobody can come in. They can't say, oh, they survived. There's no way. We're going to have proof positive of, of all of this. And some of these people are still loved and adored by certain people. One of them... <coughs> um, People along those lines, that's going to, for those of you who know, you know, I don't even, for those of you who know, you know, uh, it'll be considered tragic, just like other things. Anyway, enough of <laughs> other, yes, anyway, oh, uh, you know what people say, aren't you afraid to say some of this stuff? Dude, I've died three times and come back. Apparently, they are not ready for me. I, I And when they are, it's my time. No, I'm not afraid to speak the truth. Mm -mm. Aren't you afraid to listen to the lies? Because I am not afraid to speak the truth. Mm -mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you would like a private reading, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, or you can go to that page and get my my business number and I'll be happy to to um to uh schedule you for your reading and to all those people including my family who called me a conspiracy theorist I'm a truth spirit is that how it's said who cares that's what I am <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, if you, when I call your area code, please tell me your name and your, where you're calling from. <laughs> what just happened to my brain? Your name and where you're calling from. And take me off of speakerphone. We're going to go to 512. 512, how are you today? Hi, Tony. This is Yvonne. I'm calling from Texas. Hey, Yvonne. How are you? Are you the one on, on uh, YouTube chat right now? <laughs> Yes, I can talk and watch you. You're so funny. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So how can I help you today, Ivan? Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about a job coming up for me. I've been doing a lot of applying, and I know they took a long time to get back to okay. everyone. Uh, are you looking at possibly doing... Um, remote or from homework or are you looking at being in person right now i'm looking for both okay i feel like something uh, now this is going to sound like whatever it's going to sound like but i'm just i'm going to say it the first the, the the first thing i hear is atlanta it doesn't mean relocate um i do hear remote i feel like that you might find a position that is a remote position and the company is based in Atlanta or Atlanta, sorry. Um, huh. 
Now, <laughs> and it might just be that like you're searching companies and I tell this to everybody, um, list your, your skills, your talents and your work history, everything you've done and, and uh, you're capable of doing, and then put those skills in to a search engine and then see what titles pop up and then start searching companies that you would like to work for that you've heard good things about and look under um, remote or look at careers and then remote because you're going to have a, a, a lot better opportunity that way than just depending on the positions that everybody else is looking at on, let's just say some of the, the job sites. I feel like this position, I do here at Atlanta, okay. I do not feel like you're going to need to relocate for this. I feel like you are going to be able to stay right where you are. I do feel like this is remote, but I do also hear the word travel. So there may be a little bit of travel involved with this. Um, I do feel like you are going to have some really good um Good. I, you know what? I'm, I'm just actually hearing Yvonne. Uh, I'm hearing some really good luck is coming in for you. I do feel like by mid-September, everything is going to be um, that this song. Oh, my gosh. It's so old. I can't even believe it just popped in my head. But this song should mean something to you. Um, I am sorry for how this is going to sound, folks, especially those of you who like vintage music. Ah, I want to apologize in advance. Um, Fly, Robin, fly up, up to the sky. Oh, God. I do not, you know, you guys might think I like singing because it's hilarious and I can't sing. I do not because it's very embarrassing because I can't sing. Uh, I don't know if that song is familiar to you or somebody you, uh, somebody on the other side or yeah, somebody on the other side, this was a song they would have listened to and they're singing that song, Fly Robin, Fly Robin, Fly. And they, the person who sings it has a much deeper voice. Um, and I just don't even know enough about the song to tell you uh, if, if it was a male or female that sang it, but that's, a, and the, okay. So by mid September, by mid-September, focus, Tony, focus. That should be your, you should just be flying. Now, robins traditionally are um, fertility and a bird of spring and fertility and good things coming in. Um, so please, by all means, know that by, mi by mid-September, you should be flying high and everything should be going well. Um, Mid-August, you're going to have a bit of luck coming in during mid-August. This luck is going to pro 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 propel you or project you into like another, like you're taking a step up another level and you are going to be finding yourself um, just one thing. You know how they, how some people say, and never, ever say this, never, ever, ever say this. The, the worse it gets, the worse it gets. I just want everybody to change that to the better it gets, the better it gets. Um, and so it's going to be like one thing happens and then another thing happens and then another thing happens, but it's all good things. And, and you're going to be able to ride that wave um, through pretty much the rest of the year as long as you say yes. As long as you say yes. And that's okay. it. And again, I'm hearing Atlanta. I'm hearing uh I I am about to I am about to embarrass myself horribly. Hor I like no I, I just before I say this, I want to preface it with I did take geography three times. <laughs> I know I'm not bragging. <laughs> Once in summer school. I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. How do I know where states go? Everything is backwards to me. My whole world is backwards and upside down. Leave me alone. Um, I'm hearing Atlanta, Georgia. And God, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> the shame, folks. The shame. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. You know, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, as a single woman, if a man wants a really intelligent woman, I probably, yeah, I'm probably not going to fit that bill all the time when I'm channeling. Yes. Um, so what I, I, what I, okay, let's get back to this. Um, there is, there is something coming in mid August and it's going to, you're going to feel like your luck is turning around, like your, your there's going to be this um, uh, luck that comes in and continually goes with you. So please um, start looking now at, and look at, okay, and look at different titles. Like I know when we look for positions, we we get stuck on a t on the title that we have, but they're saying, figure out, like what other titles you could apply under and you are going to be pleasantly surprised at what comes your way. Okay, beautiful. Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. And this I hope- was a great birthday present. Oh, well, what a great reading. Thank you, Tony. You are welcome and happy birthday, gorgeous. I'm so grateful you were uh, able to get a bit of a birthday reading. Me too. Thank you. You have a great week. You too. Thank you. I am going to go directly to 929. 929. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Stacy, and I'm calling from Long Island. How are you today? Excellent. How can I help you, Stacy? Okay, I'm not going to keep you long because I know you have a, a lot of callers on the line. So I just want to make sure that I'm on the right track. Okay, so, and it seems like every time I, time I try to get my resume out, something's getting in the way. So there's a company that I'm highly interested in. And on Monday, I was just, I was going to uh, get out my resume. I think it was on Tuesday. I plan to spend the entire day at the library. Then I get a call from my job to do an assignment at the last moment. So I'm starting to feel like something is always getting in the way. So right now I'm on assignment until Monday, but I can still go to the library um, next to my uh, next to my assignment location. So I just want to know: is it? being done on purpose or am I on the right track? Because every time I try to get this stuff done, something's popping up and I'm thinking like maybe it wasn't the right time. So what do you pick up? Okay. So Stacy, thank you so much. And so much of what you said is so, um, <laughs> so good. And so, so like, so imperative. So one of the things I'm going to tell you is when we are looking for a position, timing is everything. We don't want to, we want yeah. to be able to go and apply, and we, we have, okay, finish one sentence. Let me finish a sentence before you start the next folks. Um, we know, or we have a feeling it, we're getting close to being in that position where we are going to be uh, starting something new with possibly a new company or something like that. And, but it might not be the exact timing because if we, we send out to a company, it might not be the company we're supposed to, or we're going to be with. So what I'm going to tell you right now is, um, you know, there's going to be um, some changes coming in mid-September to late September, and then really in October. So if you can uh, stay with your company for a bit of time, please, by all means, do that. If it's not horribly uncomfortable, yes, when you get the opportunity, go look and see what else is out there. But I do think um, based on what might come in and how far we, the people, let it go, um, you might be safer at your current company than a new company. But by all means, go and look. Um, and when the timing is right, everything will fall into place. You'll get to the library. You'll see 
a perfect position. You'll apply for it and it will all fall together. I do feel like that's going to be more of that October time frame, but between now and then be diligent because that might be when you get hired, not when you find the job. Um, be diligent in looking and getting out and being proactive about it and seeing what else is out there. Okay, I hope that was a good answer. I feel like that kind of went in a circle, but I do feel like they did answer that for you. Okay, thank you. You are so welcome, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me here. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you, and please remember, you are so, so loved. Um, I know people don't talk about love maybe as much as they should, but believe me, you are so loved and so cared for, and I... I just think it's important that we remember that each and every day. Um, until Monday, you guys have an absolutely amazing weekend. And thank you again for joining me.